So hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to clean dust of this uh, excellent lens. It is a Nikkor uh, 18 to 70 millimeters. This was the kit lens which came uh, with the D70 D70 camera, uh, and then it is an excellent kit lens. And then uh, a proof of that is that uh, it has been around for a really really long time. People is still buying this lens. People is still using this lens, and then in difference to modern uh, day um, kit lenses, this one has, for example, a metal bayonet, and then this is a sign of re reliability. Okay, um, we're going to clean the front element because this lens, I have no idea why, uh, it tends to collect collect a lot of dust on the inside. So you see all those all those spots which are just moving around uh, with the lens yeah. here you have one and then uh, that is dust who gets accumulated somehow into the lens so what we're going to do is we're going to clean the lens and to do so so we need to remove the front element and then usually the lens um, presents itself in this way so you have a sticker here this black sticker around and that I removed already. So uh, that I have here. So uh, and then I'm going to put it once I finish the repair. And um, if you want to see how I removed the sticker, I made a video specifically showing that because it takes actually some time to do. So uh, I left the the link for the video down in the description and then here in the corner now okay so uh, and then once you have removed the sticker uh, the next thing you have to do is uh, to remove this front element and then uh, once that is done uh, the job is pretty much over so and then to remove uh, the front element here uh, there is actually two really really small slots he, one here and one uh, here on the other side they're barely visible well you can see because you're seeing it uh, from uh, yeah from the top uh, here from the side I'm not able to see them very well they're quite well hidden and then so you need a spanner with uh, yeah with the thin uh, thin pins uh, and then you can access it and then here obviously once you reach the slots you push, you push the spanner in you make sure nothing is going to move on the spanner and then uh, you can proceed to rotate and then to avoid the spanner from slipping you have to handle it really 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 well so keep it with a safe hand and then uh, if um, you're a bit dubious about uh, the spanner slipping what I usually do in doubt I, I cover the surface of the lens with this uh, with this tape it's a painter's tape and then in case uh, this, the spanner slips and I don't I reduce the risk of damaging the, the glass surface so this is just a tip I give to you so let's finish removing this so I rotate the lens not the spanner it's a bit more comfortable to do and then here I think I am in position and then I have removed the lens and then here I am able to see all the dust that I can just simply blow away it's just dust I don't even need to, to clean the lens because otherwise it is clean it's just, it's just dust and then I 
just those particles that come in. Ah. So, and once the lens is clean, I put it back. And then looks like new. So now I have to screw it, it again. So this is the tricky part because I have to make sure uh, the thread gets in the right position. This is this is the tricky part. After repair, I just threading the lens again in the right position. So what you can probably do is you put it upside down and then you can feel with your hand that you're getting right in position and then that you can rotate the lens without trouble. Okay. So and here I am. I am touching the, the front surface because I don't really care. I'm going to, to clean just after. And then uh, the lens is in position. I can just retighten with the spanner. Just let me put the tips in position. And then we're done with the repair. The only thing is missing is uh, to put um, the, the sticker back. But then this is just a matter of patience uh, that you have to do. Otherwise, just to finish the cleaning, uh, as you can see, I add some optical cleaning fluid. Here, the one I use, you can find the link uh, in the description of the video if you want to get some. And then the lens is as good as new. So, this is all I wanted to show you today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.